Howdy, y'all. I want to share something with you. It's around noontime. It's uh, February the 19th. It's 25 degrees out there. No wind. But I want to show you something that uh, happened to this house. And I'm trying to stabilize the drone. I flew it out of that window. And right below the window is that little roof line. And underneath that, inside, is where the dining table is. I had a little problem with that. And so here I am sweeping off the snow and some ice from the top that dining room area. Why would I be doing that? Well, about mm, two nights ago, I was uh, working downstairs in my office, my downstairs office, and I heard this, it was like a grandfather clock. It was very loud and it was methodical tick, you know, tick, 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 more like a drip, drip, drip. And so I, I turn around and get out of my seat and I'm looking around, where is that noise coming from? And I, of course, followed it into that area right there below where I'm sweeping. And folks, this is what happened. There you see that big circle there on the right. That was the first uh, leak. And that's what caused me to get a, a big old pot out to catch the water. And it wasn't that much water, fortunately. And then uh, over the course of uh, the next mm, two nights, those others appeared, but they didn't leak onto the table like that big circular one did. And that's where all the ice and snow fell that I was pushing off that roof line. So back to sweeping, I did as much as I could. We'll see how that turns out for tonight. I, I think I got it because the snow is going, by the way, that, that side of the house faces due north. So that area right there would be the last snow and ice to go because the front of the house faces due south and uh, that's where the, the bulk of the winter sun comes in. In fact, all the icicles are almost melted over there in that beautiful icicle picture I posted on Facebook and YouTube is gone. It was gone actually early this morning. So let's go on a, a drone flight. Uh, we are facing south. And right there is good old Fletcher Road, and uh, it's, it's pretty heavily traveled normally, but it, it wasn't today. There's still a lot of ice out there. So there we go. We're looking over there to the neighbor, and the beautiful Collierville, Tennessee. So let's, let me swing this drone around and give you a, a view to the east. And all this snow is going to be gone, and ice will probably be gone in the next couple of days because we're supposed to get rain on Sunday. And then all next week is supposed to be off and on rain with uh, about this time next week a lot of rain. So I don't think we're going to see any more snow, but who knows? April's still a ways away, and we have been known to get a little bit of snow even in late April here. So. There you go, that's to the east. Now, as we look down, that's my backyard neighbor where you can see the kids played a lot in the snow. I didn't get out in the backyard here. I like it just pristine like that. So let's uh, swing around here to the west, a little bit more to the west before we fly it back into the house, the drone. Look at them icicles. It'll be interesting to see how long they're going to last. Not much longer. Anyway, so here I am. I'm coming in with the drone, which is a Mavic, uh, uh, which is a DJI Mavic Mini 2, and it doesn't have sensors anywhere but on the underneath of it. So it won't let me know if I'm about to crash into something. So it's all skill of the pilot and flying by the seat of my pants. So I'm trying to get that drone stabilized because that house creates an eddy of a little currents that I can't see. Even though there's no wind out there, I had to fight this thing and struggle it to get it in there. Seems like it's uh, a lot more difficult on very cold days like this one is. It's uh, 28 degrees out there. So I finally is able, there you see me, there I am. I'm in panic mode because I almost ran into that wall. Look out. I'm about a foot and a half away from that wall. So what you do is you just reach out and grab it, and then you turn it upside down. Yeah, come on, turn it upside down. It's fighting me. 
and it turns off the propellers and I'm able to bring it in. That's it folks. Problem solved. Bye-bye.